hello guys welcome to the channel it's yet another video guys we're going to be taking you along hopefully you enjoy this evening drive and i'm going to be taking you together with me give it a like subscribe to the channel turn on the notifications we are still i'm in the areas of kawempe this evening and i want to bring you the vibe this other side hopefully you like it and by the side opposite you can clearly see that people have started setting up stalls for chicken chips which is fries and many other stuff so let me take you so this happens to be the Tula Road Kawempe Tula Road and around here the road you see in front there where the cars are that is the Kawempe Mbogo Road these are the neighborhoods just help me subscribe to the channel turn on the notifications and also share if you can that is the Mbogo Road and we are going to trace it here that is Mbogo Road you can check out the video so we are going to trace this road up to the northern bypass So we are continuing, just give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. That's all you can do for me at the moment. So for the people that know Undeje Road, this one is more similar like the road behind Freedom City, Namasuba Undeje. This is how it looks like almost like this guys what do you think help me like this video and also drop a comment down below so these people put their own walkways to access the shops the other side i want to show you the baha'i baha'i temple it is supposed to be in is it in Tinda Pokoto? Pokoto Tinda Sasi in those neighborhoods that's where it's supposed to be to somewhere right there not so not seen we shall see it in another angle Just wanted to cover the camera. There was a minor crossing. But let's continue. This is how the area looks like. And I've told you already that Kawempe is an area for Muslims. It's known for Muslims. When you look out for areas with concentrated Muslim communities, Kawempe is one of the top ones. There is Chivuli. There is Gayaza, so those areas they are concentrated with Muslims, lots of them. Anyone with a reason, a good reason down there, please drop it, let me know. And the other side, it is the side of Naguru, Naguru Hill, just right there. And the Baha'i Temple I want to show you here is just right there. That is the Baha'i Temple. So hopefully you've seen it. Let's keep going. It is 6 p.m. in the evening. And usually in January, it takes time to get dark. By the time it is dark, just know it is some good minutes like... 30 minutes past the hour of 7 that's how it, it is always and in the morning in January it takes time like by the time it is fully clear it is around 7.30 so I don't know why it happens like that okay it is at this time that the sun is over the equator that's why we always have that too much rain. 
I think that is the science. We just know it is over the equator. Nothing much. And it switches positions like the sun switches positions. That is a Burundi number plate. The sun switches positions and you'll find it. Which is to set like from here, it sets from this other side. I don't know how it happens, but that's how it happens. Because the world is rotating. And for some people, if you tell them that at the moment the world is rotating, they'll be like, how? May I see it is stationary. How is it rotating? I also don't want to go into that science because it is very, very tricky. Just like the video, subscribe to the channel and then help me turn on the notifications. It's evening, evening hustles are going on. People are relaxed, others are just starting. People like those that sell snacks, Rolex, chapati, chicken. This is their time. That is chicken. Because people that are living work, this is some of the foods they order for. Because they don't have time to prepare food, they just want something they can either boil some water or make some coffee and then call it dinner. Let me know what you do after work. Do you prepare food or do you go with these street foods? Of course, most of them say the foods are not clean, but there is nothing to do. You have to go with those. Me, I would prefer preparing food for myself. Of course, that is when I'm still alone. I'm not staying with anyone. That's all I should do. Just preparing the food myself because then I'm sure of the process I know how it all went and around here it is the East African Academy Kawempe you can clearly see let's continue towards the city we are continuing towards the city the city center is around here and this is the sides of Bukoto and in Tinda this way Baha'i Temple just the other side Today is the, two, is the 26th of January, it's a Friday, and every 26th of January happens to be the Rebellion Day for the National Resistance Movement, call it NRM, the party that leads Uganda at the moment, or that rules, yes, that rules Uganda at the moment, and because it is the party in power, it has to be celebrated nationwide. And in being celebrated nationwide, it has to be the public offices have to close or have to shut, which happened. And today, people are going to be in happiness. Tomorrow, it is something different. So guys, help me like this video. Subaru guys, Subaru's always roll on the roads of Uganda. This is the Kawempe Tula road and we are heading towards the northern bypass that is towards Kawempe 
and I think we may get the chance of seeing those areas around Kawempe why you say just stick on to the video give it a like and also share it with friends this is how Kampala looks in the evening and of course this is not in the city centre it is the outskirts you have seen many videos on TV channels that bring you videos in the city centre we are doing it differently we are bringing you videos outside the city so guys i'm going to be tagging kasim of ashen club check him out give him the support subscribe to his channel he is on the road to 2000 subscribers and you can as well most of the people that watch my channel are not subscribed the biggest percentage of you are not subscribed please help me subscribe to the channel and as well continue supporting me it's yours truly Ivan at Highway let's continue hopefully you can see the other buildings are they visible that is the NSSF pensioners building and this is the Pearl of Africa Hotel it ceased functioning and I think it was supposed to be auctioned in November October. I don't really know what happened. I did not follow up. Hopefully, the owners sold it off and then got some profits. Let's continue towards the city Kampala. So, the other one down, that is Akamwe Simol and let's continue towards this other side just help me subscribe to the channel and then turn on the notifications look at that tree look at that as well Let me take you back. I want to show you that is like a more small over there. Let me zoom. It is on Gayaza Road. So that is Gayaza Road that side. And let's continue to this other side. Towards Kawempe. Do you have any memories with this area? Of course I just love it whenever I ask if people have memories with some areas and people come in the comment sections and be like yo I used to reside in that area yo that's where I used to hustle from or that's where my girlfriend used to stay that just gives me the assurance that you're connecting with the area so most of these things are made out of scrap metal and that is what happens Suitcases, charcoal stoves, and a lot of other things. The border border guys is one of the main of the of the problems people say the city Kampala has that there is a way they make the city look ugly oh I don't really know I always enjoy moving on these streets as I'm capturing videos for you guys hopefully you also like them if you don't like them you can let me know tell me to switch but as far as I know I do justice to these areas and you people are loving the content so make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and there are several ways in which you can support me and the whole works first and foremost it is the super thanks 
there is a, a button after the share button look at the like button dislike button there is the share button comment button around there there is somewhere you can press and then support the channel it is in form of a heart with a dollar sign press there the different packages 20,000 30,000 old five dollars ten dollars fifteen dollars anything that you can you can just put it in there manually and then it comes straight to my mobile money that way i'll have gotten support from you guys that is one of the many ways you can support me then you can support for memberships there is a after the word subscribe there is a word join if you subscribe there is a word that says join so you can pay monthly memberships yearly memberships or quarterly member memberships and then you'll be able to support me that is some of the other ways that you can support this uh this channel this is me of mine and others are through my own mobile money and the bank account i'll attach them there or the mobile money for whatsapp just in case you want to say anything share anything with me through whatsapp or ask anything ask for a bank account through whatsapp i'll give it to you of course some people don't want to use mobile money or any other thing just ask for it i'll give it to you and support my channel because some people have always asked how can we support your channel there is no any other ways apart from those ways that i've given you thank you guys so the northern bypass is somewhere right there so let's walk towards this other side till we get there just help me like that is most of them wood products right there poles timber and many others that are needed in construction so let's move and get there faster That is timber pro timber there and related products. So we are approaching the, it is there, that is the, the northern bypass around Waise. Let's continue, let's continue. Also Waise is known for mechanics. Look at those beautiful beds. And as we get to the end of the video, please, if you've watched to this very end, help me like the video. Drop a like for this video. Subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to turn on the notifications. More videos are coming. Land it over <coughs> towing a car here, towing a fellow Land it over, meaning it's, it's a brother from another mother carrying, and that is the sun over there. Not so strong at the moment, but can still charge up the solar panel. So let's continue towards this way.
hope you guys are liking the video are loving the video Graham Cola. So the other one is the northern bypass. The northern bypass. That's where we are heading, and this other road takes you to those other ends of Waise. And want to cross from somewhere here. Of course, still this is still wise, isn't this wise? Yeah, this is wise. Yeah. But when you proceed with this road in front, that is Kalere. Okay. Kalere roundabout is in front. Though. Okay, let's take them up to Kalere. Yeah. And around here, this is where all these cars, most of them, let's cross. Most of these cars are from accidents, are products of accidents and after accidents they are brought and useful parts or parts that have not or that didn't get damaged are gotten out and then sold as spare parts many of them So this is how they look like and we are ending somewhere after this and the balance is always put up and sold as crap after getting off the good parts and selling them. That is the northern bypass up there. Kasim. Kasim. So as we are getting out of these scrap cars, or the cars that are victims of accidents, or that are got from accident scenes, that is the bypass. The northern bypass. Part of it. And around here, Kasim, what is this place around here? Kalewe. This is Kalewe. Yeah, this is Kalewe roundabout. Yeah. Yeah, and this place still is called Kalewe. Okay. So I am I allowed to pause the video from here? Then I can take it the other side of the market. It's okay, only that. Yeah. Uh, they should know that across this road, this yeah. Gayaza road. Yeah. That is Chebando. Oh. Yeah, many people know this place as Chebando, yeah. but this is Kalewe. Okay. Yeah. Okay then. Let's reach the road. Let me pause because I have enough footage. Let me pause and reach the road. So after crossing the road from the other side, from where the cars are, the scrap cars are, I want to take you to the market. That is Kalere Market. Of course, I have a video going through the, market, the that area, but because of the people that have never watched those videos or because of the people that are watching this channel for the very first time, that's why I am taking you there.
it's already a few minutes left to 7 p.m. or 19 hours. Those sugar canes up there. And that is the northern bypass, as I've already told you. Up there, and this is part of Chebando, Kalere, where you say those areas. This is where we are at the moment. We are going to cross and then go to Kalere Market. And this other road continues towards Nambole. So we are going to cross from around here. So this is over the fly over or the northern bypass. Here it is a flyover. And people are always selling their stuff around here. Bread, herbs, and many others. Fashion fruits, clothes sweets and many other things jackfruit tomatoes beets bangles yeah let's continue let's continue so that is the market over there we are going to be crossing from somewhere around here this is where we are going to be crossing from So that road goes up to Kampala, the other one goes the other parts of Entebbe, and this way it is Chewandu, where we are coming from. So let's continue. This is the Kalere market, people are working and they put their merchandise out on the streets. So we don't have where to pass. Matanda is everywhere, literally everywhere. But find space around here. Watermelons, food, carrots, a lot. This is the Kalere market and Let's keep moving. Pineapples. Wendy. Clothes, second hand clothes, and many other stuff. Dry mushrooms. So let's continue. Silver fish, matoke, green pepper, tomatoes, Irish. I'm mentioning things I'm seeing that is passion fruit over there, mangoes. <laughs> and many others cabbages sweet potatoes just a lot more other things so guys this was just a by the way I did in just minutes I just wanted to show you I was supposed to end the video way back but I was like no let me come up to this very end it is called the Fever Montuyo 
market owners so guys this is where i'm going to end it thank you for watching you've been amazing if you've watched to this very end bye bye So whoever asked for yams, those are the yams over there. Vegetables and any other foods. Pumpkins. Chili, yellow bananas, oranges, mangoes. Generally, it's a lot that the market has to offer. You just need to check it out if you're around there. Bye-bye. I'm out.